Hey, what's up guys? How would you like to be able to watch all of the brand new movies, TV shows, and so much more absolutely free? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get to a secret app store that you can download apps that you can't find in the Amazon app store. I'm going to walk you through step by step everything that you're going to need to know so that you too can start watching all of your entertainment for free. All right, guys, if you're ready to learn, let's begin. All right, so you're excited and you're ready to start watching all of your entertainment for free. Let's not waste any time and just jump right into these instructions. The first thing that we need to do is go into the Amazon App Store and search for just one app. The easiest way to do this is just to push left on your remote until you're on that magnifying glass. Then push down and click your center button one time. This will bring up a keypad, letting you type out whatever app in the app store that you want. Today, we're looking for an app called Downloader. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. And I've only had to type the very first letter. There's no need to type everything. Just come down here as soon as you see Downloader, highlight it and click on it. It's then gonna take us to the Amazon app store to this bright orange app. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, if we click our center button one more time, the download process will begin automatically. As soon as the download's finished, it's gonna to go to the installation, and once everything's wrapped up, it's gonna say open. But I don't wanna open the app. What I wanna do is once it's all finished, I wanna click the home button because I need to go into the Amazon Fire Stick settings and change just one setting really quickly. The easiest way to get into all of your settings is just to push right until you're at the very end. And then a menu will appear on the bottom of the screen. What we're looking for is something called My Fire TV. Now, if you have an old Fire Stick, it might be called My Device. Or if you haven't updated your Fire Stick in a long time, it might be located down here. So it doesn't matter if it's at the top, at the bottom, if it's called My Fire TV or My Device, let's all click into that together. All right, now that we're all on the same page, let's go ahead and unlock developer options. As you see, I've already unlocked it. But if you haven't, let me show you how to do that. All you need to do is click right there where it says About. Then while highlighted on your Fire TV or your Fire device, click the center button on your remote several times. Just keep clicking until you see this pop up. It's gonna say, congratulations, you are now a developer. As soon as you see that little pop up, then click the back button one time, and now you too are gonna to have developer options. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now the first thing you're gonna see is ADB debugging. Just click your center button on your remote one time. Just like that, you're able to turn it on. All right, let's go ahead and slide down and click Install Unknown Apps. Now, as you see right there is the brand new downloader app that we just installed. Now, you might have several apps on this list. Just slide down, highlight Downloader, and click your center button one time. And just like that, I'm able to turn Downloader on. All right, let me rewind really quickly for my old Fire Stick users. Because if you're using an old Fire Stick, you're not gonna see Install Unknown Apps you might see apps from unknown sources. If that's what you see, just turn it on and we can continue with this video. All right, let's go ahead and click our home button because now we need to go find that amazing app that we just installed. The easiest way to find all of your apps is just to slide over and click on those three boxes and a plus sign. This will bring up all of the apps that you've installed. And the newest app is always at the very bottom of this list. So if you scroll through all of your apps, you'll notice that the last app is the last app that you downloaded. Let's go ahead and click on Downloader together. Now you might see a little pop-up. Just click your center button one time and that will disappear. All right guys, so the Downloader app allows you to go along the internet to different websites right here from your Fire Stick. The, all you have to do is click the center button on your remote two times, once, twice. It'll bring up a keypad allowing you to type out that website that you're looking for. Today, I want to take us to one website in particular. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it.
Now that you have that address entered correctly, just click right there where it says go. Now you'll see I have a little red circle on my screen. And if I use my remote, I can push up and down and left and right and move the circle around. What I want for you to do is move the circle down just enough to where we can find this box right there. Then we're gonna move that red circle and put it on the box anywhere. Click your center button one time and the download process begins automatically. As soon as the download's finished, just gonna ask for you to install the app. Just slide over and click install. Once the installation is finished, just slide over and click the word done. By clicking done, it's gonna return us back here. So now we can delete this unnecessary installation file. We're just gonna slide over, click delete, slide over and click delete. And that's everything that we need from the downloader app. Let's go ahead and click the home button. Now we need to go back into our settings of our Fire Stick to change just one more setting. And if you remember, the easiest way to do this is to slide over all the way to the end. The menu appears on the bottom of the screen. And once again, we wanna click on My Fire TV. And we wanna click Developer Options. And one more time, Install Unknown Apps. And now you'll see that Unlinked has appeared on this list. And just like we did with Downloader, we just have to highlight it and click our center button one time and make sure that we turn it on. All right, now that we've turned on both Downloader and Unlinked, let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote because now we need to go find that Unlinked app on our device. And just like I showed you earlier, to find all of your apps, just click on the three squares and a plus sign. It'll bring up all of the apps on your device and the last app that you installed is always at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open Unlinked together. Now, the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is enter a new library. All you need to do is click the center button on your remote two times, once, twice. Again, it's gonna bring up a keypad allowing you to type out the code to whatever library that it is that you wanna visit. I have worked really hard and I've created my very own personal app store that I'm sharing exclusive access with my subscribers only. I have loaded this app store with over 50 amazing apps, giving you free movies, free TV shows, live TV, pay-per-view, anime, news, and so much more absolutely free. The only thing I ask in return for all of the stuff that I give away for free is that you're kind enough just to hit that subscribe button and say thank you. Now that you are a subscriber, Let's go ahead and enter this code. Now that you've entered that code correctly, just click right there where it says next. And guys, welcome to my very own personal app store. Now I know with over 50 apps, a lot of people always ask, well, which one's my favorite? I put together my top five favorite apps right there. I've also put together a message about how important it is that everyone use a VPN when enjoying these apps. And you can read that message right there. Now that you've read everything on the welcome screen, just click your center button on your remote one time. Now you'll be able to search through all of my apps alphabetically right here under all files or you can just slide down and go through the different categories to pick out the apps that you're looking for. In today's video, I just wanna show you a small example of how my store works and how you too can install these apps. Just highlight any of these apps. We'll start with this one. Just click on it, then click download. Within a few seconds, the download will begin and we're just waiting for this to get to 100%. As soon as the download is finished, it's gonna ask for you to install the app. You just click install, you slide over, and once again, click install. Once the installation is all wrapped up, it's gonna bump you back into the store so we can continue to download some more apps. All right, we've downloaded an amazing app here that's loaded with all of the movies, all of the TV shows, live TV, and much more. But I wanted to make sure that I gave you a couple other apps. So the next app right here, we're gonna click download and we're gonna click download. 
Now really quickly, this HDO box app is amazing, but it says that you must use the drama player. Some apps in my store require a separate player for that app to work perfect. So when you download the app, you must download the corresponding player to go along with it. So in today's video, I've included the drama player to go along with the app. Now, the first app we downloaded has its own built-in player, so there's no additional app to download for that one. I hope that all of this isn't too confusing, but I wanted to make sure that I included these instructions so everybody can have their apps working the way that they should. So we're gonna click Install App, then we're gonna slide over and we're gonna click Install. So like I mentioned, the first app that we downloaded, Flix Vision, has its own player built right in. The second app that we downloaded, HDO Box, requires an additional player to go along with it. And that player is the drama player that's for HDO Box. So let's go ahead and download the drama player. We're gonna click download. And just like everything else, we're just waiting for it to get to 100% so that then we can install the app. And if we just give it just another second or two to wrap up, we click install app and then we click install. Guys, within those three apps that we just installed, you're now able to watch all of the brand new movies, all the TV shows, live TV, live sporting events, and much more. But I don't want to stop there. I want to make sure that everyone stays 100% protected while enjoying all of that entertainment. And that is why I have included the IPVanish VPN in today's video. Just like all of the other apps, let's go ahead and click on it. We're gonna click download. Now, if for any reason that the download doesn't work in this store for you, now you can go to the Amazon App Store or the Google Play Store and you can find the IPVanish VPN app in those stores also. So we're gonna click install app. We're gonna slide over and click install. And just like everything else, as soon as it's done, it's gonna bump us back into my store. Like I mentioned, the store has over 50 apps. You're already here. Go try out some other apps so that you can find which ones work best for you. But now that you've downloaded everything that you wanna try, now we can click the home button on our remote because we need to go find where all of those apps are once again. And if you remember, we just click on those three squares and a plus sign and this takes us to all of our apps. Now, the last app that you've downloaded are all at the very bottom. What I would like for you to do is highlight one of those new apps and click the three dashes on your remote just to the right of the home button. When you do, a menu will appear. Slide down and click right where it says move to front. And as you can see, it brought the app from the very bottom to the very top of this list. I'm going to do that just a few more times. I want to show you why. I'm going to hit three dashes, move to front. I'm going to hit three dashes, move to front. And one more time, three dashes, move to front. Now, please move these apps around in whatever order that you find the best. I just want to show you what moving them to the top does for your device. When you hit the home button, right here from the home screen, you're going to have easy access to all of those apps right here. You're not going to have to remember where they are and how you got there. This first app is unlinked. That's my store. So if you want to go try out some new apps or get some updates to your existing apps, you can have easy access right here from your home screen to do that. Now I know everyone is super excited and ready to go start watching all of their entertainment for free. But guys, before I ever open any of those entertainment apps, I always make sure to turn my VPN on first. So let's go ahead and open up our VPN. And the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is enter your username and password. If for any reason you don't already have a username and password, don't worry, I'll make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is log into the internet and go to this website right here. Or just take your cell phone out and point the camera at the QR code there in the corner or just scroll down below the video into the description or the comment section. I'll leave links down there for you too. It doesn't matter which link that you choose, they're all gonna take you to the IPVanish website. From there, you're gonna have the opportunity to learn more about why every single person should be using a VPN, especially when using those entertainment apps. 
you're also going to have the opportunity to pick out a plan. And if you do, IPVanish will then email you a confirmation with your very own username and password for you to sign in. I'm going to sign in and I'll be right back. So welcome to the IPVanish VPN. This is by far my number one recommended app when it comes to keeping everyone safe and secure while enjoying all of their entertainment. Not only does IPVanish keep you safe and secure, but they also bypass all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. Let me show you how easy all of this is. All you need to do is log in, click the center button on your remote one time. Now, the very first time that you log in, it will have this pop up, just click OK. Give your system a few seconds, and when you see the country light up in green, you know that you're protected. Guys, it's that easy to protect yourself and to bypass all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. Now that you know that you're connected, just click the home button on your remote and the VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you connected and protected so that finally you can go and enjoy all of those apps, giving you free movies, TV shows, live TV, pay-per-view, and so much more. I'm certainly glad that you guys made it this far in the video, but I would love to hear from you down in the comment section, letting me know what you thought about this video or what you think about the apps, or if you need help with anything, please feel free to comment down below. I love reading and responding to all of your comments. And if you've not done so already and you're enjoying all of your entertainment for free, please hit the subscribe button to say thank you. I really appreciate everybody who's taken the time to hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot. I'm trying so hard to hit 1 million subscribers and everyone watching this video can help. So please, if you're not already subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. You can also ring the notification bell if you never want to miss a video, but I would love it if you were to share this video with a friend so that they too can watch all of their entertainment for free, just like you. All right, well, thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing all of you real soon in my next video.